Let's go. Giannis Papp is here with Two Point Leads Friday Five. The biggest letdowns in sports. Number five, Super Bowl 48. The Seattle Seahawks Legion of Boom defense versus the high-powered Denver Bronco offense. From the opening missnap, the beatdown started immediately. It was as if the Broncos got caught with all the Seahawks' wives. By the second quarter, everyone's Super Bowl party turned into just a party. The final score ended up being 43 to 8. Two numbers that should never be together on a Super Bowl scoreboard or two-person camping trip. At number four, the 2004 World Series featured two storied baseball franchises, the Red Sox and the Cardinals. The Red Sox were coming off a four game comeback against their arch rival Yankees. The World Series after that was a complete bust as the Sox treated the Cardinals like a kitchen floor and swept them in four games. It was such a blowout, people stopped watching after game two because they were too busy trying to remember their MySpace passwords. It was 2004, guys. At number three, every dunk contest after Vince Carter. Dunk contests used to be the main event of All-Star Weekend, with big names like Jordan, Dominique, Kobe, even Spud Webb was dope. But since Vince Sanity won in 2000, it's been an endless parade of no-name bench warmers that pack the same excitement as a C-SPAN congressional hearing, with missed dunks, dumb props, cheesy commercial integration, and Fred Jones. No, seriously, he won it. Who's Fred Jones? At number two, Major League Two. Willie Mays Hayes was back, except he was a totally different player and actor. Wesley Snipes was played by Omar Epps? I guess they thought white people just would not notice. What else sucked about the movie? Oh, uh, everything. The movie was still the closest Cleveland has ever come to winning a World Series. And finally, at number one, Mayweather versus Pacquiao. The fight of the century ended up being a $300 million sparring cuddling session. We planned it all so long ago. Boxing fans spent $100 to watch two multimillionaires make really good eye contact and dance topless. Now we know what it feels like to be a Bernie Madoff client. That's your Friday Five Biggest Sports Letdowns. I'm Giannis Patton.